and ensuring that the benefits of ICT are evenly accessible to everyone. With the NICTF serving as our blueprint in advancing the country's national ICT agenda, we give utmost importance to connectivity, which is the backbone of all digitalization and the enabler of the fourth industrial revolution, an era where connectivity among computers, artificial intelligence, and the digital economy, among others, are ushering a growth at rapid breakneck speeds. Thus, we at the Department of Information and Communications Technology are making sure that we can take full advantage of the benefits of ICT through initiatives that will enhance the reliability, the speed, and availability of internet connection across the country. So when you talk of digital transformation, in so far as uh, the Department of Information and Communications Technology is concerned, innovation happens when uh, people, organizations and companies, agencies and offices understand the problem, uh, identify the solutions, include all stakeholders in designing these solutions and strategies and apply digital technologies in order to achieve the solution. And fundamentally, and most kind of um, uh, expanding across is IoT, Internet of Things, because at the end of the day, whether you're looking at our agriculture side, you're looking at the land, you're looking at the power business, it's about collecting and understanding, sense making of what is actually happening in order to build and leverage on these technologies across the different. Start off with, in Aboitis, we are considering ourselves a tech conglomerate, which means that technology is at the heart of all of the innovation and where we want to go forward. And we believe technology gives us an edge that will eventually lead to hopefully getting a premium for our products or services. Right? I think through technology, it has served its purpose in showcasing or setting an example for the rest of actually what can be done for the SM ecosystem uh, through SM malls online. And we'll continue doing so in the long run. During the current environment that we're in and technology firms are now looking at profitability, you will understand or you hope that sustainability was part of your, you know, key points when you were building the company as part of the foundation. Uh, we are now able to uh, automate and uh, technologies that we, we buy, we can integrate. And that allows, that allowed us to, to be more efficient, faster, quicker and uh, Effective. Now you can do things much more efficiently, now you can do things much faster. But if you keep on just, I guess, doing the same rate of work, then I don't think we're taking advantage of that as effectively as we are. So I think we can now have a more balanced approach as far as how we actually accomplish things. As I mentioned in, in the conference, um, we are looking into the potential of these emerging technologies to be enablers in the for our pursuit of digital transformation and financial inclusion. So one probably key implementation of technology is the blockchain as well as the responsible decisioning of the AI, artificial intelligence, and machine learning to be able to assess whether the customers indeed uh, worthy or not be offered with the financial services. Yeah, probably since I'm in the digital banking, I have a bias. So it's really more of um, probably sharing among the global best practices, how the regulations are being molded, how the supervision is happening with respect to new business models and probably hear also from the players from the other jurisdictions meaning uh, what are their experiences and how they will what are the wish lists that they have in mind for the regulators to look into.